and welcome back elite dangerous commanders and right on and we haven't done this for ages <laughs> this feels really strange actually i'm looking at this again i can't remember I, this i know you know gandalf when he goes into the mines of moria and he goes i have no memory of this place this <laughs> <laughs> kind of what it feels like because I haven't I haven't played Elite Dangerous since well since update six whenever that was was that two months ago now it's like it's, it's a while back so um, it all looks looks a bit weird and unfamiliar because 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 I haven't been playing it because um, it isn't good enough or it wasn't good enough and that's today's stream so I yeah uh, um, a bit of preamble um, I, um, I, have a, I have a bit of spare time I managed to finish my work early today um, and I've made good progress on one of my other projects so it's all kind of good right so I've got a bit of spare time uh, maybe an hour maybe an hour and a half or so and um, yeah let's let's have a look I've managed to I managed to press the update button literally I, I saw the tweet and thought what if it's if one of it's available for update and it was so I pressed the update button and it's it's done its thing um, it's here this is update seven so we <laughs> We have we have we have 60 frames per second in the menu. This is this can only be a good start. So there we are. Um, Happy Boober says hi Drew and Amendment Man that says howdy Drew as well. Um, Cyril Meekin says 07 commanders. Yes, it's, it's 07 and 07 and right on and all those kind of good old fashioned things that we used to say. So um, so that's good. So um, I, I've got the as you can see top left corner of the screen. Hopefully that's appearing for you guys as well. Um, I've been told that the in-game FPS counter for Elite isn't isn't super accurate um i don't know if that's true or not but i've switched it off in favor of the msi afterburner thing which you can see hopefully in the top left corner of the screen so that tells you a little bit about my pc um and you know roughly roughly what the pc thinks of the game but you know <laughs> so this by the way this this smoke here is is uh, i've done this joke before but it's funny so i'm gonna do it again um this 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 smoke here <laughs> is actually from the game it's not from my pc <laughs> just just to kind of get that out of the way at the start um, <laughs> so yeah so up up um yeah no, i've got to do this right uh, no that way up 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 in the top right corner over there which i can't really point at because of the limitations of green screen um is is the msi afterburn info now that's that's techie stuff um i don't really pretend to understand it a great deal but it's basically uh, i've yeah it's my graphics card how well the graphics card is doing uh, and that will make sense to many of you who are kind of interested to, to, to sort of see the performance and all that kind of good stuff um <laughs> my pc's on fire oh no um so anyway so i've just fired it up i haven't made any graphical changes yet i've left it on the the settings it it basically thinks my PC should be okay at. So it's defaulted to ultra again. So I don't know if any changes have been made there. We can have a play around with settings maybe in the stream. We'll see how it goes. Um, I can hear the PC spinning, but it doesn't seem to be as bad as before. So maybe then maybe that's a good sign. So, um, so that's good. So my intention is to go and try and play the problematic bits of the game that were giving me grief before, see if it works. Uh, I'll just give you my, my, my view on it. Now, um, a word on my view, okay? <laughs> I am not your average Elite Dangerous streamer, okay? I'm not really here to grow a community and make money off my streaming and, and all those kind of good things, okay? I'm also very much not here to promote Frontier, okay? I, a, I don't feel they deserve it, and B, um, um, they've done nothing that I can... <laughs> <laughs> nothing on my behalf that I consider a reciprocal agreement in the last many years since we sort of um, ended our relationship in terms of you know things that Laurie and narrative many 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 years ago so the last involvement I had with Frontier was back in uh, yeah officially was back in 2017 uh, and since then you know we've sort of you know I've done my thing and they've done their thing which is fine you know there's no animosity there um, uh, I helped them out in 2019 when they did some charity stuff all good um, and um and then i've stated my opinion on elite dangerous odyssey in, in no uncertain terms i feel i think most people are fairly clear what i think or have thought about it um and um that has resulted in in something of a negative vibe coming back to me through the yeah you know, the mediums of social media and various other bits and pieces right um and uh, and and exclusions from things that um otherwise i suspect i might have been invited to um for being honest all right or at least what i 
believe and consider to be honest. Now, if you feel I'm being unfairly critical, then do tell me. Um, if you feel I'm being you know, unfairly positive, then do tell me. If you feel I'm getting about the balance right, then obviously do tell me as well. So uh, my, I, uh, basically, <laughs> the, the too long didn't read version of that is, I don't really care, okay? <laughs> <laughs> anymore. Um, I like Elite Dangerous as a game. I'm not involved in its creation. I'm not really involved in its promotion. Um, I'm just another person playing it, okay, at this point in time. So yes, I was involved in Elite Dangerous a long, 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 long time ago. I am not anymore. I'm not all that bothered, okay? So um, I like space games. That's kind of where I am. And my review of this game will be basically from that perspective. Does it work? Okay. Um, my PC is average-ish, maybe a bit above average, so it's not super duper, but it's not a potato. I think I think potato is the phrase, okay? Um, <laughs> I do, yeah, and I've, I've said before, I do have an interest, I do have an interest in the law and stuff of Elite, but it's it's so fragmented now and in such a mess, it's very, very difficult to catalogue that. That's a problem I don't think is ever going to be fixed. Um, so um, I may make some more law videos because I like making law videos. Um, those are not really for the benefit of Frontier, they're for the benefit of you guys. If you like law and you like learning a little bit more about the, the stuff that's behind the Elite Dangerous Universe, um, they're for you, okay? They're, <laughs> they're not there to do anything else, uh, and I make them just for fun. So my review today, I'm hoping, will be as honest and straightforward as possible. I don't care whether Frontier gets um, offended by anything I say in this. I will, I've always, always, always been 100% polite and reasonable, I feel. Um, call me out again if you don't think I have been. I, I've always tried to be as fair and balanced as possible. I've never hassled any individual at Frontier, despite the fact I've been accused of it. Um, I've noticed a few uh, posts on the forum of saying um, two things. One, that I've um, singled out Frontier devs for abuse. Uh, that is that is not that is not true. Uh, they're, yeah, they're certainly not consciously anyway. Um, and there's been, there's been a couple of things saying basically I've also called out Germans on my stream and said I don't like them either. That is also not true. So I've got no idea where that came from. Um, I've got many German friends and we're all very, very happy. Um, <laughs> so I don't have any problem with anybody. If you like playing space games, then it's, then it's kind of all good for me. Yeah, be nice, treat each other with respect. Um, I have my opinions, however, and I don't feel I should compromise on those for the sake of just towing a party line. Um, so hopefully that's enough of that. <laughs> Those of you who've watched me on my stream for a long, 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 long time, because I've been streaming now for two or three years, will know uh, that I don't take things too seriously. I'm a fairly jokey, happy, laid-back sort of person, uh, and that's about it. Um, and if you read anything more into my tweets and my, my videos and my posts than that, um, I'm afraid you're reading into your, your own bias, I suspect. <laughs> Do I have space kids in the yard? Yeah, there are some. It is, it is just after school time, so behind my study there are some kids mucking about. So if you can hear some high-pitched squeals of delight, it's not um, it's not a bunch of denizens trapped in some sort of perjury. It's just a bunch of kids playing behind me. Um, so there we go. So there we are. Um, was there a meow? There may well have been a cat. Yes, uh, there. I do have a space cat. Um, but there we go. I'd really like to know your political views, Drew. But I don't think yeah, I mean, that's that's another stream topic, isn't it? So uh, let's get let's get into Elite Dangerous, shall we? Let's find out what's going on. Right. So I am here at the menu. Um, uh, everything appears to be working, so that's good. Um, so I'm going to go into my private group. I don't know if any of you guys are hanging around, but if you are, uh, Elite Dangerous Odyssey Drew Wager's private group. Let's see if that works. Um, this feels all really, <laughs> this feels really strange and weird because I was like I haven't done this for ages. Oh, it's a crate. Yes, I've forgotten how all these look. Everything's going to be looking really, really large. Okay, well and there we go. Eighteen frames per second during loading. That's a bit weird. Um, so let's um, let's let's go and find out uh, what's going on. Um, I can hear the piece. This PC definitely went whirr there for a moment. Blow off the dust off the hotel. Yeah, I've got my hotel plugged back in. Although I did manage to get my hotel working with No Man's Sky, so um, I've brought it back. Plus, I've also updated, finally, updated my copy of Flight Simulator 2020, <laughs> which seems to always want to download a gigabyte of stuff every time I play it. Hey, we're here. Okay, so um, right, I, I, I don't know where I am or where I left it. Somewhere called Brands Retreat. Okay, so we're actually on the surface. So this this makes. This makes it, you know, a reasonable place to start, doesn't it? I'm not showing any sound for the ship. Is that? Oh, there is. Oh, there is some sound. Okay. Right. So first impressions. Well, 
first impressions up on the ground and it's 30 frames per second <laughs> um temps well let's have a look okay it's sitting there 70 degrees that's kind of okay um um so okay so somebody's already said those temps are scary for now um uh those are um the, the pc is clean i am fairly rigorous at keeping my computer tidy okay so um this is basically what the game is doing to my pc i don't see temperatures this high um on other games and look at there it's already jumped it's, it's hmm there we go <laughs> okay i've got 22 frames per second <laughs> oh dear um is this is the stream itself holding together i suppose that's the <laughs> that's the first thing it looks like it is um so um so so yeah so anyway this is this is literally just out of the box again so yeah i'm okay like, okay so i am let's have a look at the graphics settings let's make sure nothing is awry to start with um so it's sitting on ultra which i wonder is a bit high for my pc um and i haven't there's a lot of this is this, this is the thing there's a lot of settings in here which i have no idea what they mean okay now I have had a quick squeeze at the forum and there's things like FSR and, and this and that. And I don't really, <laughs> I have no idea what they do. And I don't personally feel as a game player, I should need to know what they do. I think the game should figure that out for me. In the olden days, when you installed a game, it used to profile your computer properly and go, right, your computer is capable of doing this. These are your recommended, rec recommended, recommended settings. And um, as a result, um, you could kind of expect it to be, you know, figure those things. Now it's recommended ultra, which I just don't think is good. You know. So let's let's immediately switch it down to high, and see if that helps. Um, okay, so I'm going I'm going for high. Uh, I'm I'm assuming I'm in the correct. Let me just have a look at the resolution because it should be. I'm a 1080, uh, yeah, 1080p player, so borderless. I've got a frame rate limit of 60 hertz because that's what my monitor can do. Um, Quality is now high. Okay, so let's go with that. Let's see if that helps at all. Um, okay, so 35, it's a bit better. Doesn't look noticeably different on screen, so that's that's okay. So I suppose we should just, maybe let's go for a wander around, shall we? <laughs> um, disembark um, there we go fade to black the Armstrong moment <laughs> um, unsafe temperatures okay so it's maybe it's a bit cold okay so I'm I see I'm seeing sub 30 second frame rates there um, is my how do I switch my I've forgotten the keys F for flashlight there we go um, Okay, so it's varying. It's, it's improved a bit there, up to thirty. But look, the, the the temperature is up a bit, eighty degrees now. Um, <laughs> anyway, let's go for a wander around. I can see one. I've got, they, these are new for the game. Look, new turrets. Now, this is an idea that I hope to see early on. I'm glad to see they've introduced these because this makes a lot of sense to me from a kind of law perspective that um, there would be turrets on the fences to you know to guard against incoming ships i would also like to have seen shields for bases um but uh, that doesn't seem to be a thing at the moment but um i think the fact that the turrets are there um is sensible okay so that's that's good that's good um okay so the sun is or the star should i say is just coming up or going down i don't know if it's dawn or not <laughs> can i make it pew pew yes i suppose we probably can um, so I'll I'll wander around. So it's okay at the moment. Yeah, the frames per second is not great, but it's from a kind of explorationy. Um, yeah, so 80, 80, 80 degrees is borderline throttle, is it? Okay, so it could be hitting that already. Um, now again. Um, this is a this is a constant refrain with Elite Dangerous Odyssey. Is um, why does it run things so hot? I don't have any other game that does this. Flight Simulator 2020. Um, I would expect, and I, I don't know, but I would expect Flight Simulator 2020 to be um, heavier on my PC than Elite Dangerous. Um, but it just doesn't seem to be that way. 
Um, and uh, my 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 graphics card there is now being maxed out at 99% utilization, which I suppose is good, but um, the process is high as well, which I don't know. There we go. What do you think? Um, can I shoot a red barrel without crashing to the desktop? If I can see if I can find a red barrel, I can see some people wandering around over here. So in terms of just wandering about, at least for the moment, this seems OK. You know, I haven't tried any pew pew, obviously. We'll, we'll, um, we'll give that a whirl. Um, I don't really care about my character at the moment because it's, <laughs> it's not doing anything. Um, OK, so this person here is going to right scan me. So does that work? I'm going to stand still. There right, OK. There we go. Okay, so hopefully I should be. I'm. I'm. I haven't done anything dodgy at the moment, so I'm all good. Okay, so that's that's good. Let's have a wander around the building. So I'm getting 33 frames per second. It's it's playable at this point. Um, did I compare those games while streaming as well? Yes. So I stream. I've streamed them all and I've tested the streaming, um, and. I, with Flight Simulator 2020, I get a solid 45 to 50 frames per second on the high settings with this configuration. Um, and um, No Man's Sky, I mean, you can go and watch those VODs, they're, they're, they're all over the place. Uh, I'm noticing actually that I'm getting some lag now on my stream, just from the, um, the actual, not, not the stream lag, but lag on OBS, if that makes sense. Very, very minor lag. But the frame rate of my OBS seems to be slightly affected, which I've seen before again with Elite Dangerous. Um, so it is consuming lots and lots of power for my PC um, at the expense of other things running on that PC, I think. So, um, so whatever that is, this update doesn't appear to have fixed it, which is a shame. Um, 29 frames per second there for a moment. Now, I mean, those of you who know this stuff, is there anything else I can do in the, um, so yeah, I'm scanning him. Uh, is there any, he looks exactly the same as the other guy. Was he, is he the same guy? <laughs> looks very suspicious there. Um, um, is there anything I can do here to potentially improve this? Um, I'm just looking on the display. So let's have a look. Is there anything? So there's, there's so, I mean, uh, that's, there's quality settings. Okay, let's have a look in here. So there's, I mean, there's loads of stuff here which I don't know what it does. Okay, reduce the display resolution. So, okay, so if I go for, what do you suggest? What does it have as options here? Um, should I go for? I mean, that's, oh, that's the old HD resolution, isn't it? 720p. So, you know, which, which resolution should I aim for? Which is a good one? Uh, what, what do we recommend? Try 10, 10, 60, 80. Right, okay, let's try that. Let's just go down a bit then, maybe. Okay. Oh, actually, the menu is now really hard. <laughs> the menu is really hard to use now. Um, there we go, it seems to have come back. Let's try that one then. Okay, so we're going down a bit of a, a bit of memory, just down one level. Okay, let's try that. Okay, so yes. Uh, and by the way, I'm probably streaming at 720p, so um, that might be okay. So that's that's gone up to that. Really hasn't made much difference. It's still saying 29.30, so not a great deal of improvement there. I wouldn't say. I'm gonna, what I'm going to do? Let's take it down to the resolution I'm actually streaming at, because arguably, you know, I could uh, I could go down to that without too much trouble. Let's, oh, why does it do that? I'm going to go down to 720p and see what that does, just out of curiosity. Change the AMD setting to performance and it should change the resolution by itself. Okay, so let's just, let's do one thing at a time. I'm changing the resolution now down to that 720p, which looks pretty rubbish. Oh, it looks horrible. <laughs> and interesting enough, that is not helping at all. It looks awful. But the, and the, well, maybe the FPS is a little bit better, but not not much. And it looks dreadful on my screen. It looks horrible. Um, that looks like a 90s game. 
that doesn't look as good as Wing Commander does. Um, no benefit on the on the frames per second there, so that's weird. Okay, so let's let's try let's let's go back. Okay, I'm going to switch the resolution back to the full, and then we'll try this AMD setting. Does that make any difference? Oh, so much easier on the eyes instantly. <laughs> right, okay, so where's this AMD setting? Um, does that help? So that's AMD, no, it's not there, where is it? Quality, presumably. Uh, is that this AMD, is that the upscaling? Change the AMD setting to performance. So where's the AMD setting? I don't see, that says AMD, but is that not what you mean? That says normal AMD Fidelity FX CAS contrast adaptive sharpening and then spatial upset. <laughs> no idea what that is. Um, okay, so it's set on AS AMD FSR one. It's it's that switched on. It's already set to performance. Okay, so so that's not good, I suppose, in this sense because it means that we've already had that applied. So. Oddly enough, on my PC, changing the resolution isn't helping. Um, so, any other thoughts? I'm, yeah, while, whilst I'm just sitting here, while we've got bad F FPS, any other thoughts on what I can do to improve it? Resolution doesn't seem to help. AMD thing doesn't seem to make any difference. Um, so, I don't know. Um, set all quality settings to minimum. Some people have suggested that it's shadows may be one of the things. So is there a, is there something in there? Let's have a look. Is there, sh is there shadows? Depth of field, terrain quality. I mean, what? <laughs> there's so many settings. Shadows were a big issue. Maybe now that sorted those. So I didn't even see shadows as an option. Super sampling is set to performance. Blur, bloom, ah, oh, spot shadow quality. Is that the one? Um, let's drop that to low then. Does that make any difference? No, nope, that's still, in fact, that's worse, if anything. So, you know, this is what I just don't get. Shadows and an anti aliasing. Um, there's something about the ground-based first person that just can't do it. Copes well in space. Yeah, space has never been a problem. There was another another shadow setting. Okay, tell me where it was because I didn't see it. Uh, I'm going to try and adjust one thing at a time and see if any of it makes any difference. I'm going to put that back to, I think it was on medium. Let's go back to, I think that was set to high. There we go. Uh, oh no, shadow spots quality. Okay, so just above the other shadow. Okay, directional shadow quality. There we go. You're quite right. There we go. Let's set that to low. See if that makes any difference. Okay, so no 29, 30. It's not, nothing seems to change anything. That still looks all right, but it's still 20, 22, 27, 29. Nope. And I've, this is what I've tried before. I, mean, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. <laughs> this is a general observation. Um, <laughs> but specifically in terms of graphic settings, I don't know what this stuff means. And I, I really don't think in this day and age that I should need to know. Um, you know, texture filter. So where's, okay, so where's anti aliasing? So I've got SMA, whatever that is. Um, Let's turn anti-aliasing off. Find out what that does. It's probably going to look really ghastly now. Resume. Okay, so anti-aliasing is off. It looks horrible. I can see jagged lines everywhere. But that FPS counter is not improving. It's not. It's not graphic settings that seem to be the issue here. Um, the amount you'd have to reduce quality. I mean, okay. So let's. Oh, that guy's scamming me now. Let's let's go let's go stupidly low. Okay, so graphics. Um, let's go. Let's just go low. Okay. Um, everything is okay. I'm going to go low. Um, 
I'm going to give every conceivable <laughs> every conceivable chance. I'm going to get low quality and low resolution. I mean, what else can I do? Uh, Okay, so low resolution or 720p, okay. Low quality, and is there anything else I can do in here? I could switch, okay, so off, off, lots of stuff is off, right? <laughs> okay, texture quality is off. There we go, that's 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 low and low and low and low and low, right? Okay, so well, it's still the same. Um, is VSync on with the frame rate set to 30? Uh, it's well, there you go. It's a little bit better, but it looks it it looks like it looks like Doom from 1995 now, um, and it's still not improving much. It's a tiny, tiny. Oh, some settings require a relog. Okay, well that's weird. Okay, so let's okay. So this is let's let's log out. I'll, I'll 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 try everything. Does it need to be to menu or just to to the desktop or the desktop? Maybe not. Well, no. You see, um, Commander Anger, it, it's not. This is the only game that gives me a problem. This is the this is the issue I have with Elite Dangerous. It is the only game that gives me this problem. No Man's Sky is fine. Flight Simulator 2020 is fine. These games are you know demanding as well. No problem with them. Um, Odyssey just will not give me any performance on the planets. It's fine in space. It's okay-ish in the space station. Um, maybe it's me. <laughs> Rock graphics card. This is a GTX 1070. You can see hopefully the details in the top left corner of the machine. Um, um, so yeah, <laughs> so maybe there's maybe there's a Drew Wager setting somewhere buried deep in the options which is switched on. I can't see it. It's a hidden menu. <laughs> Ooh, conspiracy theory. Um, I don't think that, I, yeah, well, <laughs> ooh, what was that? Okay. Okay, so now I've re-logged, and if anything, performance is now worse than when it was on Ultra. Look, it's still sub 30 frames per second, no matter what I do to the systems. Um, try changing the upscaling from FSR to CAS. Um, okay, display, uh, quality, upscaling, I can't change it, actually, at this point it's disabled. Um, Server-side screwdriver setting, <laughs> reduce field of view to minimum, <laughs> reduce everything. Uh, where's that? Uh, I can't even find reduce field of view. Where's the field of view? Mm. Field of view, there it is. Okay, so field of view, it's currently a max. Let's see if that makes a difference. On foot field of view, right, I've, I've reduced those down to the minimum on the sliders. Here we go. Resume. Uh, <laughs> it's not working. It doesn't work. Um, some people have a great PC and it runs bad. Some have a bad PC and it runs well. It's not the PC. It's this, there's something just wrong. Um, I mean, it's this is really in potato settings, and it's it's hot, it's worse than it was at full settings. Actually, it looks awful as well. It just looks like a '90s game. Change your <laughs> I'm changing my mouse keyboard help. <laughs> Sensible suggestions only. Um, so again, you know, I'll re reiterate just for the purpose of the screen. I, you know, I've streamed No Man's Sky on this PC, no problem at all. I've streamed Flight Simulator 2020 at full HD, no, no, no problems at all. Decent frame rates and all. Uh, no Man's Sky hardly ever dips below 60 frames per second, actually. And Flight Simulator does. Oh, targeted for a security scan. Very rude NPCs in Elite Dangerous, if you ask me. Um, <laughs> there's, some, there's, there's something wrong. How much VRAM do I have? Uh, this is, I I believe it's an 8 gig card. Somebody tell me the 1070, 1070 GTX is an 8 gig card, I believe. I've got 16 gigabytes of RAM as well. Um, so I just, 
Yeah, certainly, I don't know if I'm representative of many of the player base. I'm going to go back to the graphics. Let's go back to high, um, just so we can see anything. But no matter what I do, um, and again, I hope I'm being fair to the game. You know, I'm not deliberately trying to make it fair. It just doesn't work. It just doesn't work. Uh, at least not at a decent playable rate. Um, and it's fine in space. Okay, it's fine in space. Look, you see there I get, I've gone back to high settings now at, at 1080p and actually the frame rate's marginally better, which doesn't make any sense to me at all. Um, I don't understand what's going on. So, you know, there we go, 30 frames per second is okay here. Um, but if, let's, I mean, it's, there is a building at the other end of this um, run, isn't there? Let's go and have a look see if the inside of the building makes any difference or not. Um, so we play High Horizons on the 1060 with six gigabytes and it was no problem. So I don't know whether Horizon doesn't play well with certain combos. Um, so I don't have a problem in space. I don't really have a problem inside the space station rotating drum bit. Um, the concourses are a bit flaky, but they've got better. Um, and, uh, but planet surfaces, where there is stuff going on, you know, exploration wise, it's kind of okay because you can wander around. Um, but out here where there's stuff going on, um, and you know, I've, I've, I've read a few things about the rendering engine and you know, it's beyond my technical level of expertise. Um, many, most things are to be honest, beyond my level of technical expertise. Uh, but, um, um, from what I understand, it's, uh, let me go. Um, these guys all look the same. <laughs> Is it the same NPC or a different name? Um, okay. So I don't want to go up here and um, see if we can go in a building. Does that, so, I mean, it, at this speed, at 30 frames per second, it's kind of okay. Um, right, so this is a level zero, so it should let me in. Okay, what's it like inside the building? So it's 20, 29, 28. It's kind of borderline. I mean, it's, it's okay. I can see some reflections on the floor, so some quality settings. You know, I can look around and I can do stuff. Um, <laughs> it looks very brain dead. Try a burning building. Well, I haven't got. I don't know if I've got a burning building anywhere around here. This this is a spaceport in my home system, so um, I think this is a little bit. This is a little bit better than last time. Um, I recall there being a light over there. Um, yeah, I'm getting reasonable 30 frames per second, 29 there, looking through a piece of glass. That used to be problematic, but it doesn't seem to be quite so bad. It, this seems to be a bit better, actually. It's a little bit more consistent, even if the frame rate is a bit low. Um, it's, it's not crashing down to, oh, there it goes, it did there a bit. 27, that's restricted area. Slight hesitation there again. I don't know, it, it's, it's not too bad there. Um, it's just overall, it's just not, it doesn't feel nice. You, you're, you're waiting for a glitch to happen. You're, you're kind of tensing for it as you, as you play the game, or at least I am. Oh, hello. Oh, that guy. He's pointing in the wrong... Oh, no, now he's pointing at me. <laughs> Slightly ganky AI there. That was weird. Um, stop! He says, pointing not at me. Okay, so... Um, it hasn't crashed. There's there's a thing. That's That's better than I've certainly had in the past. Uh, but the FPS is not, is not, is not great at all. And as you've seen, I've been through every, well, quite a lot of the graphics settings. Um, and 
you know, I can't, I can't get better performance. Um, so let's okay. So well, there's a the thing. So okay. So in terms of you know, has it been fixed with update seven? No, it hasn't. Not for me. Uh, that's that's a conclusion I can already draw. Alas, um, who's this? Is this somebody? Is this a player coming down here? That scale, I mean, that, that that is a lovely thing. Okay, the scale of a big ship sitting there, look at that. I mean, that does look big. Okay, um, so that's nice. There's my ship over there, it's a crate, isn't it? Uh, oh, let's just jump across there. But I can't get much above 30 frames per second. Um, and you still can't get a, <laughs> I presume you still can't get a beer at the bar. <laughs> Which is which is a must have really, isn't it? Um okay, oh so suit energy recharge, I think that came in update six, so that's that's a good benefit. All right, let's board the ship. Let's go fly the ship a bit, see what the see what the terrain looks like. Have they done anything to the terrain? Um I can't find the expectation slide in settings. <laughs> right, okay, so let's fly around the landscape a bit. Okay, so flying around the landscape in the ship, let's get away from the base and see if that improves a bit. Landing gear up. Now, for all this um, much vaunted landscape technology, I still feel it's a mixed bag. Um, FDev did say the main optimization is coming in upgrade eight. So, okay, so um, that's okay. I mean, that's reasonable. You know, if if. If I'm not expecting any changes, then that's 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 okay. So, basically, I will confirm that if update seven has made no appreciable difference to performance. Okay, so now I'm away from the base, I'm getting 43, 45. Now the performance is beginning to improve. Um, so it seems to be mostly that. Okay, so 40, 45. That's that's probably okay. And it feel it already feels smoother now. I'm away from the base. Um, now this this technology they're using for the ground, okay? I think it's still a complete mixed bag. Some places look really, really good, but this this just looks like melt, you know, slightly melted ice cream. Now, I mean, I don't know. Clearly, you know, we we don't know what exoplanets look like because we've never been to one. Um, so there may. And look, where's that? Where's that shadow come from? Suddenly. I'm in a shadow that wasn't there a moment ago. Um, so that's a little bit odd. Um, so, and yeah, flickering shadows there as well. Um, so lots of things about this planet tick are a bit rough. It does, it looks like I'm flying over chocolate. So, and quite a few planets look really nice and quite a few planets look ridiculous. Uh, they just don't look like anything that you could possibly imagine existing. Now, we we can't we can't definitively say well that wouldn't exist because um, you know this is a 0.3 g planet, um, so you know we would expect potentially steeper mountain ranges um, around there. Oh, those shadows look dreadful. Look, they're all flickering and they're just odd. Um, Sharon Valeri, hello there, Miss Gray. Good to see you. Um, um, but I don't think this. I mean, this is this is a this is an atmospheric world. It's the only atmospheric world in the system, so I'm just using it as a thing. Uh, what I will say is that performance is a bit more consistent, which is a good thing. Um, but then these look. I mean, look at that shadow appearing in front of me. It the shadow renders as I'm flying along. Which is doesn't make any sense. That's not right, is it? Um, <laughs> so the landscape is there, but the shadow is rendering at a certain distance. Now the mountains directly ahead of me look rubbish, but those ones over there, look at the ones in the distance. Those look really good. That does look like a realistic landscape on the horizon. Um, that looks much more impressive than this chocolatey melted stuff that we've got up here. Now let's fly in that direction and see if that landscape continues to look good as we get across it. So 
and look at that. you can see the shadows appearing and disappearing. So there's something not right with the shadow rendering either. Um, now these planets always look best at sunset sunrise because you get the maximum number of contrasts and lots of shadows. But those shadows are not right either. They're rendering and kind of unrendering. I can't remember if I've got. I'm just trying to remember my external mapping for keys. There we go. Right. So let's have a look. Uh, that's the ship front. How do I get to the exterior camera F4? There we go. Okay, so let's just have a look around outside the ship as we're flying. So a lot of reflection there. Again, frame rate's okay. To be honest, as as the scenery recedes, it looks it looks better. You know, those mountains now look better than they did when I was closer to them. Um, those shadows are... The, look at the way it sort of renders the shadows on the way. That's a bit weird. Actually, it's working fine there. So that terrain ahead does look quite good. So let's fly down, take a closer look at it. Does it hold up at point blank range? You can see artifacts popping in and popping out still. Which is just something I don't remember with the tech that they used for Horizons. I mean, it wasn't perfect, but there you go. Look, all the all the shadows are now shivering, <laughs> which is really off-putting. Uh, it just that looks horrible. That's just that just looks glitchy. I mean, it's look, it's look, it looks like there's some the shadows are sort of alive in a weird sort of way. So I mean, do other people see that? Is is that? And again, closing up on this technology, it's texture popping all over the shot. Um, and it doesn't look good at point blank range from a ship. It looks okay on foot, but from a ship, it doesn't look good. It just looks like a height map with some textures on it. Um, so it, and look, texture pop again, it's just, and then the shadows appear and disappear. So this, it just doesn't look right. Um, and this, you know, this is, I go to, I've been to many, many worlds in Elite Dangerous Odyssey and I see this virtually everywhere I go, something like this. Um, you, know, you can get some nice screenshots, but the process of getting to those screenshots, f you know, for me as a kind of explorer, you know, I, this isn't an enjoyable experience. It just, all I'm seeing is, is is graphical artifacts, um, you know, and then okay. So the train's changed here a bit. Um, the train variation, I think, is better. The different types of things that you can see, but that effect. If you're wanting to explore a planet by flying around it, looking for interesting things, most of what you're seeing in the distance is an artifact that, when you get close to it, isn't actually there. It's just a. It's just part of the rendering. So it's not like you can go. There's an interesting mountain in the distance. I'm going to check that out because when you get there, it isn't the same. Um, which for exploration is horrible. Um, so no, <laughs> no, <laughs> not. It's just not good enough. I'm sorry. It just isn't good enough. Um, not for a space exploration game that plays on. Hey, texture pop, texture pop, texture pop. It's now, by the look of it, used all the graphics memory that I've got. So either they've just got the specs wrong, either those, they've got the specs wrong, uh, and my PC, I mean, it's way above the specs that they advertise on Steam that supposedly can play the game, but um, maybe maybe my PC's not up to Odyssey. Uh, maybe they just need to come clean and go, actually, in order to play this properly, you need an X, Y, Z, um, and this won't cut it anymore. Um, you know, look at that texture pop. That's horrible. Um, oh, glitch. Mm -hmm. It's like a lurch. It just it does make you feel a bit seasick when the game jolts. Um, so, you know, so for this sort of exploration gameplay, flying around, looking at stuff, again, look at the distance over there. There's a lovely mountain in the distance, okay, which looks really cool. I've just got it under crosshairs there. Um, yeah, that looks really, that's like, that's kind of like one of those, um, 
yeah, I really want to go and have a look at that mountain. Okay, that looks interesting. There's a mountain all on its own over there. I don't know how far away that's going to be. That's probably 20, 30 kilometers. Who knows how long it'll take to get there. Let's put full pips and engines and see if we can get there. Um, let's see what that mountain actually looks like close up by comparison. So, um, I, I don't know. I mean, what's... Yeah, it's a lonely mountain. <laughs> Maybe we'll encounter a dragon. Um, slow down, let the textures load. Okay, so, but, you know, should I have to... S slow my spaceship down to allow the textures to let I should be able to fly across the surface and enjoy the planet yeah, I could do that with um, horizons still can with horizons and there's those um, shadows again flickering in a really weird sort of way um, again in the distance that looks really nice that mountain looks really interesting to me from a kind of exploration perspective um, it's a misty mountain. Let's let's just keep flying over there and just see what happens. Now, look at my FPS counter though. That's up to 60 frames per second. Suddenly, everything seems to be reasonably happy frames per second wise. The, you know, the the smoothness of the game is there now. Um, maybe the train's got a little bit simpler. Um, I do want to visit the mountain. Okay, so we're gonna get we're gonna <laughs> gonna go to the mountain. Right. Okay. So more complicated terrain coming up again. Does that impact? the frames per second or not it does a little bit look it drops away so let's go down and then we'll pull up let's, again the shadows appear and disappear as you're flying through things a bit of texture pop there so this is going to be an interesting test because it's suddenly got to bring the textures back in as I fly over the again it's handling that all right texture pop again there shadow fluctuation and texture pop really really noticeable boom texture pop yeah it's just and this this is the bit I like them you know or I did like the most about the game is just going on lonely expeditions and scouting out interesting places to fly around and looking for weird stuff and although the ground when it's loaded and it's it's good is is more interesting I suppose than, than horizons it's just the experience of flying across it isn't I, I it keeps reminding me that I'm playing a game rather than flying a spaceship I don't know um, and um, I just again I don't have this sort of problem with any other game I just don't see it um, although you know the, the FPS counter now look look at that mountain Look what's happened to that mountain. That mountain was way more interesting at distance than it appears now. Now it just looks like a lump. It didn't look like that at distance. It was pointed. Um, and as we got closer to it, it's become way less interesting to look at. Um, I like there's a, like a sort of shelf there, but um, that mountain now looks really dull. Um, it it looked way more interesting at distance and now it looks just no it's not as exciting as it was which is a shame uh, it's just no so that's again I mean it's it's it is again texture pop I mean it's got two it has got uh, some interesting stuff but there we go so let's fly around it again um, throttle back to uh, zero let's go and have a look at it from above okay so it's casting quite a nice shadow so yeah I mean, it's it's okay is that is that throttle back there we go about there it just doesn't look as good close up and it kind of doesn't yeah so the mountains of dev hope um yeah so i haven't been to any of those kind of I haven't been to any of the famous places since we've had Odyssey because I'm just, you know, thinking, actually, I don't want to spoil it. Hopefully they'll fix it. Um, again, as we, you know, the, from, a, from a spaceship perspective, let's go up a little bit in altitude. So let's fly a few kilometers up. From up here, again, let's go, let's go up a bit. From up here, look, the tip, now, the, now the ground looks really quite interesting. There's flat areas, there's craters there's coloration look at look how good it looks in the distance the distance looks really nice 
you kind of like, yeah, I want to get down there and see what it's like close up. There must be some interesting stuff. But as you get close, it loses its very similar tune. It just looks like a height map again. Um, so I don't, I don't know what choices they've made with this rendering tech, but it's, it's, I don't know, it's just, it doesn't make me want to go and explore anymore. I think that's the biggest issue with it is it's, it looks great from a distance. And yeah, I could take it, I'm sure, you know, here, let's fly into the sun, you know, um, let's point it in that direction, external camera. There we go, there's the external camera. Let's you know, fly around the ship, get a bit of lens flare. There we go. Um, up a bit, you know, boom. Instant, you know, nice. I mean, you guys can't see that because I've got the camera angle, but yeah, probably about probably about there. There you go. Yeah, instant nice screen, screenshot, okay? As a screenshot generator, yes, completely get it. It's, it's really good. That looks really exciting. Look, you're flying into the sunset on a you know a weird planet, um, but when you get down to the ground, it, it just isn't. Um, I don't know. I don't know, and I completely get why things like Distant Worlds Three aren't aren't running right now because just looking at that, thinking you can't explore like this. It's it, it ruins the process of exploration and finding stuff because it's just why is it so shiny I, I have no idea why it's so shiny it doesn't is it an icy planet i don't know uh, i don't know what the i think the external temperature was really low so it probably is ice of some kind um let's go down no, there's a flattish area down there let's go land and have a look at what it looks like on foot because i haven't done any on foot stuff away from the base um, notice the frames per second from a spaceship perspective is fine, so that seems to be okay. Frames per second isn't a problem from this part of the game. Um, but the... Uh, let's try and see how the on-foot stuff works. This looks nice and easy to land on. Nice and flat. And there's some what looks from up here to be some reasonably interesting terrain ahead so somewhere nice and flat to land um, again texture pop texture pop again then it renders the rocks okay so oh, and there's the onto look at that terrain is so flat and smooth you can't <laughs> ask for a better piece of terrain to land on um, and it's still giving me the ooh, unsuitable drain. It's virtually flat, look at that. That's quite nice. Boom, right, okay, so let's disembark on foot. See what happens to the FPS here. So, yeah, so Dr. K, that's, that's another interesting piece. I think she announced on Twitter or on the forums or something that she's leaving Frontier. I mean, she's been working on Elite Dangerous for eight and a half years, which is, Almost as long as I've been, no, I've known about it. <laughs> um, so I can't, you can't blame me for that. Um, now, here's the interesting thing, okay? So on foot, I'm getting a nice solid 60 frames per second now. So that's good. There's a lovely sense of scale with a ship, you know, big ship scale. Um, that's something Elite Dangerous does very well. The ground does, look, I've even got footprints. This looks, this looks really good. This looks like proper ground. I mean. I suppose my only criticism is I can I kind of feel that's a bit of a repeating texture, but I mean, you, you know, there's, there's got to be practical limitations in that. Um, you know, so I can see my footprints on the ground. That's that's quite impressive. These rocks look pretty realistic to me. So this this to me does work. It feels much better down here than it did in the ship, and it it feels as almost as if the ship flying across the landscape experience has been compromised in favour of the the on foot gameplay. Um, I don't know, that just, you know, that does that, that seem to be a problem, but, you know, okay, it's dropped a bit, 44 frames per second, it's, it's kind of okay. Um, I'm guessing this is an icy plant. I mean, that, see down here, that looks pretty good. I mean, the rocks look a little bit you know, RNG random placement, but that you kind of would expect that. Um, but in general, that 
looks, I think, pretty good. And yeah, you know, the FPS is all right and seems to be playing nice. So that's that's good. Let's again. Okay, so there's there's a weird one. Look, there's a what's happened there? Is that some textures not loading? Seems to be a very low res thing happening there. <laughs> is that a shadow? Maybe it's just a shadow. I don't know. Looks. It just looks like a low. Or maybe it is just a shadow. It just looks like something very low res. I don't know. Maybe it's just a shadow. Difficult to tell. Um, let's just try the SRV by comparison. I think I've got an SRV on board. Let's give that a whirl. Uh, two. Uh, trying to remember how to fly all this sort of stuff. <laughs> um, cool says any game that runs under 60 FPS is unplayable for me. I generally tend to agree. I mean, 60 frames per second is now, I feel, a bit of a default standard um, at which a game is completely acceptable. Um, so yeah, I tend to, I I wouldn't say I I say thirty was my absolute minimum. Okay, so in the SRV, it's still got that odd control lag, which has been a feature ever since Odyssey came along. But okay, so bouncing off the train here at sixty frames per second is actually better than when I'm on foot. Um, that seems to work all right. It's a nice flat slow. I can drive flat out with my SRV because it's nice, apart from there's a massive rocket enemy. <laughs> um, let's see if we can just get to the edge of this. Oh, where did my shields drop? Did I hit something? Okay, let's just go to the edge of this and just peer over. Okay, so... There's something odd happening to the brightness of... Do you see that? Something happening to the brightness of the distant landscape there. It was darker and then brighter as if something was compensating for contrast. Um, I don't know. The problem is I'm 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 just all the time I'm looking and noticing graphical anomalies which are chucking me out of the game. So um, so far I mean maybe there are minor improvements in terms of the performance but those key issues right now have not not really been updated for me uh, that's my conclusion so far so it certainly seems more stable it hasn't crashed which is good maybe it's auto contrast I don't know yeah maybe there's some auto contrast going on there um, I haven't noticed that before um, is that a thing I don't remember there being auto contrast on the ship before anyway um, I think the Ulexia system that I am in has a rather posh spaceport. So I think one of the things that they have added in this release is some funky new interior. So maybe we'll we'll see some of those. So did I am I in the right spot? There we go. Oh, let's just turn. So well, let's go let's go to the space station and see this. Um yeah, you can feel the game struggling when it drops below sixty. It, it is annoying, I agree. It um just makes you Feel. It makes it, it gives you a very slight bit of anxiety, I think. <laughs> um, and some people may be more susceptible to it than others. Um, but it's out here, away from the settlement. It, it kind of seems to be all right, mostly. I'm just, I'm just totally in two minds over this planet tech. Um, sometimes it's definitely better than Horizons. Sometimes it just looks dreadful. Um, and it. To be honest, it pales into insignificance when compared to No Man's Sky. Now, I'm, I'm completely with you know people like Dr. K. Ross in terms of chucking some realism in, and I like the fact that they've done exoplanet simulations and all that kind of good stuff. Um, and I get that devotion to realism, and I do appreciate it. And I, you know, the the, the Stiller Forge and the you know the galaxy at large um, is a remarkable thing. I will definitely agree with that. But when it comes to actually trogging around on the surface of these planets um, you know the fact that in No Man's Sky I can scan a rock and scan this and scan that and I, I can interact with it and I can shoot holes in the ground right um, I know that's <laughs> maybe being a bit of a vandal but you know I can interact with the landscape I feel like it's more of a real place than the worlds and elite dangerous which are 
indestructible, have no caves, have no overhangs, have no things, which, which just, we know those aren't realistic because, you know, go and have a look at pictures of Pluto taken by the New Horizons probe and tell me if you can find any any environments like that that the Elite Dangerous Odyssey terrain generator can render and, and, you, and you won't be able to because, because it, it can't. Um, and to have at this stage of Elite's life cycle a planetary tech generation that can't deal with overhangs and caves, you, know, you just know you're not going to find anything particularly interesting on the planet's surface because there's it, it's not sophisticated enough. It can't do some of those wacky terrain things. I mean, for example, if you've got any kind of geological activity on your planet in the past, you need to expect folded rock formations. Okay, and that's very, very common on the Earth because of plate tectonics, whereas rock gets folded up by geological processes and then bent over. Okay, so you get overhangs and then things fall off because of gravity and stuff and you get all sorts of weird stuff like that. Elite Dangerous um, Odyssey can't do that. Neither can Elite Dangerous Horizon. So um, this, this business about it's got to be realistic. Well, it isn't realistic because you haven't got any overhangs anywhere in the entire universe. That's not realistic at all. Um, so, um, you know, so, and, and, and No Man's Sky, I know, is not even trying to be realistic. Yeah, I completely get that. And I know some people have issues with No Man's Sky being cartoony, and I understand that. I don't agree with them, but I understand it. Um, um, I've, got, I've got to go to... <laughs> forgot how this works. How do I get into frame shift drive? There we go. Um, you know, all that sort of stuff. So, um, um, but, you know, No Man's Sky gives me, as a space game player, someone who likes space games, a much greater feeling that there's something worth going to have a look at over that next hill. And that, to me, is the essence of exploration. What's over that mountain? What's over that next hill? In No Man's Sky, I might discover a wacky cave um, or some strange artifact or something. And, and the artifacts in No Man's Sky do crop up a bit too often, to be fair. You know, kind of, oh, there's another one. Um, you know, they could tone that down a bit, I feel. But it's, you know, that's a game balance thing. Whereas in Elite Dangerous, you just know it's just a yet another procedurally generated hype map over the horizon. There's going to be nothing there. And that, in an exploration game, that's not a good thing, I don't think. Um, right, so let's go back to... So, you know, this is the problem. I feel that Odyssey, in its attempt to shoehorn first-person on-foot gameplay into Elite, has, has, has wiped out a lot of the joy of exploration that many of us really, really enjoyed about Horizons. And thank God Horizons is still there. But it's not going to be forever, we know that. Um, you know, what the timescale is for all that being integrated, who the hell knows? But um, it doesn't look... You know, and they've got to get this working on uh, what they call current gen consoles, which is not true, is it? It's last gen consoles. You know, they've got to get this, which doesn't work on relatively high spec PCs in many cases, working on last gen consoles, um, if at all, PS4 and Xbox One. So, um, I don't know. What's the plan? <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, so, um, so yeah. So there we go. Um, so, um, yeah, so it's update seven. I mean, um, and, and I know there's some narrative stuff going on, which I do, you know, I'm, uh, I do applaud them trying to do some narrative stuff. I, I think them chucking in point narratives is, is um, what, what people like to call minimum viable products nowadays. I think basically um, they have seen um, the fan response to those kind of 18 months that we had where there was no story at all. Galnet basically crawled to our head. Um, and the community team basically said, we need to do something. And, and I think the powers that be inside Frontier basically said, okay, community team, you do it then. And so, you know, Arthur, bless him, Arthur told me and, and team have had to do the narrative themselves, um, which, you know, and I applaud them for doing it. You know, something is definitely better than nothing. Um, um, you know, and we've got this Salvation versus Aegis thing playing out in Galnet and, and, and a bit in the game with CGs. And, um, you know, there's there's some Thargoids turning up, destroying things off camera. <laughs> when we need to go in and, uh, yeah, if we all work hard, we'll get a new weapon against the Thargoids. It's all very predictable stuff. Um, um, and But, you know, if there's only one or two people working on it and there's only a very, very limited amount of dev time that can be 
they're devoted to the law and the narrative, then what they're doing is about all they can do. So I can't really criticise them for that because um, I couldn't I couldn't do any more with the resources that are available. You know, what can you do? Um, <laughs> they just don't have enough dev resources devoted to putting life into the game. That's as simple as that. Um, because all the dev resources are trying to fix whatever is wrong with this, um, which they don't appear to have got to grips with um, yet. Okay, you know, things are in the pipeline. So, um, so really, has it improved since it launched? Yes, it has. You know, things have got a bit better. It's more stable. The performance has come up in some places. Um, are the fundamental issues fixed? I don't think they are. Not yet. Um, so I don't. I don't see. Um, a dramatic improvement overall. They've, they've definitely put some things in, but um, is it is it is it appealing to those people who have you know walked away because um, the exploration is kind of busted? Um, there's nothing. You know, if you're not an on foot person, is there anything new for you in the game? Not really. There are no new ships. There are no new types of missions. There's a little bit of lore and narrative going on. Mostly kind of just narrative stuff, um, which you may find interesting. Um, I can completely see why people are apathetic about it, and I'm apathetic about it. I, you know, I, <laughs> I've loved this game since 1984, and I'm just not thrilled by it. Okay, you um, know, um, all the technical problems are one thing, but. Um, I, I, I like Elite because it's about flying through space and doing spacey things. Um, I know it's just it's just shuddering very slightly there on approach. It's just little things like that. It's just not good enough. Um, you know, Horizons are silky smooth by comparison. You don't get any of these little hesitations and things. It just make the experience of playing horrible. Um, so it's just, you know, it's... It has lost its, for me anyway, now I, I may not be speaking on behalf of that many people anymore, I don't know, but for me it's lost its mojo. Um, and I've lost my mojo for the in response because it's just, look at that glitching, it's awful. Ugh, clunk, 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 oh. Okay, no, it's still not good. So this, this is my space station. Um, it's just not a pleasurable experience to play. Um, and it's not, it's just, and the pace of development. Now, I mean, they've got so many devs, I suppose, dedicated to try and fix whatever's wrong with this thing, that they can't spend any dev time on actually moving the game forward in terms of its overall things that you can do in it. So, you, I mean, you can contrast that to No Man's Sky, where it, they just chuck in massive quantities of content every time, and do it for free, and do it on this crazy regular schedule, which is just amazing. Um, let's see if the inside of this looks any interesting. So again, frame rate inside the space station, they're not good. Um, um, you know, so again, that, that frame rate drop there is horrible. It just makes the game unpleasant to play. I can't recommend it because that's just, that's just unpleasant. It's just horrible. It feels like the game is struggling, hesitating, tripping over itself in order to try and work. And it's just not nice. Uh, whereas Horizons is lovely, smooth and gorgeous, uh, and in many places looks better, I think. Um, okay, so this is my space station, which is, it's not an Imperial one, although it looks a bit Imperial. Um, okay, so 40, 40 FPS in the hangar, I suppose, is okay. Um, okay, so this looks a bit different to last time. There's a funky blue illumination. Um, so there isn't any rubbish on the floor, but people are still leaving, <laughs> still leaving stuff. Um, okay, let's jump in here. Let's see, go to the concourse. Okay, that looks kind of okay. Forty frames per second, thirty doors open. Okay, so okay, well this has changed a bit. Yeah, okay, so this this looks a bit different. Look at that though, 20, 20 frames per second again. 
that wasn't there last time so they have updated my <laughs> my concourse a bit okay so there's probably i suppose i don't know what they've done maybe a bit of coloration are oh, some of these i think some of these items are different so there's a maybe a bit of variation in some of the stuff that's in the space station i don't remember that arch being there that looks kind of cool the, the overall layout is the same so it's only, and it's just oh that's horrible no 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 that just isn't nice it's jolting and stuff okay it kind of looks a bit prettier it's the same basic it's basically had a lick of paint hasn't it um and maybe a few potted plants and a few things moved around i can't really remember what it looked like before it's the overall layout is the same it just looks like it's had a little bit of a refurb so um and some blue illumination rather than whatever it was before sort of grayish so not not massively different but i think that arch is new this is the bar i presume we can't get a beer um uh, cynthia bryant well she wasn't she wasn't there last time she's no she's, she's still the fence she doesn't make any sense at all but i've complained about that before so i'm, I'm not expecting to 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 to, uh, to see that change alas um people walking him out looking a bit sheepish so yeah that's all that's all kind of the same again things in no man's sky here in no man's sky i can press e and i can sit down and then i see myself in third person looking out the window that surely can't be too difficult thing to add that would add little things like that add so much to the immersion of the game just being able to sit down and just chill there for a moment surely that kind of, yeah and the emotes why can't i you know i don't know if there are any other commanders here there probably aren't um but why can't you know why can't i do an 07 things like that are really really important to 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 gamers and you know i i think that stuff should is, is kind of essential um and i don't why they haven't put that sort of stuff in so so there we go so let's have a look out the window and just watch the time of the game the how many game passed I can't get up the stairs now. <laughs> oh, I can't go through there. Okay, interesting. Um, okay, so again, that looks pretty, pretty good. You know, okay, so it's a funky space station. Um, there's definitely some auto contrast, which I don't know. Is that a new thing? Because um, that's a look up. It brightens. So there's, yeah, there is an auto contrast of some sort going on in there, which might be new. I don't know. Oh, there's Commander. Oh, these these two must be. <laughs> oh, what's going on there? Uh, <laughs> so some 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 people. Um, Commander Cover is over there. Okay, so so the multiplayer. Uh, Commander Cover appears to be inside. How does that work? I'm over there near the lift. Oh, there we go. There's Commander Cobra. Okay, so so again, the multiplayer bit, oddly enough, seems to be one of the better bits of Odyssey, in that it seems to be more reliable than Horizon. Um, so, um, yeah, a nice little nod to the lore there. Things like Lavian Brandy. That's that's really good. More of that, please. Um, so so yeah. So I don't know. Any, anything else you guys want to see? Because I think I've made up my mind. This this hasn't really improved anything dramatically for me at all. Um, there's a massive long patch notes for the game, so they've obviously been working on stuff. Um, but um, yeah, so it hasn't. Um, uh, Commander Simon, in terms of the graphics, um, you might want to catch the beginning of the stream. We went through virtually everything. I could think of we change resolutions we train trained fsr we change quality settings we change shadows we changed everything um and hardly anything made well it didn't make a difference at all in fact in some cases it got worse so um had all sorts of graphical problems i don't seem to get in these complicated on foot places um i struggle to get into the 40s and most of the time it's dipping into the 20s so um so yes yeah, so that was the early part of the stream um so again, I, I, you know, this is the thing. I can't really even evaluate the content that is here at the moment. Um, you know, I've got I've got opinions stashed away <laughs> for the actual on foot content and how it relates to the the spaceship game that I used to play. Um, I've got you know I've got opinions on that, but I can't really get to those because I can't play the content because it's not 
the game isn't good enough. I'm just sorry. I don't, I don't like having to say this. Um, you know, I'd, I'd like to be able to play this game properly, but it's it's not up to it's not up to scratch. It really isn't up to scratch. You know, those frame rates are not acceptable. Um, whatever they've done with this rendering engine, um, I don't know. I mean, I'm not a dev, so I yeah, this this is all smoke and mirrors as far as I'm concerned. But other games don't have this issue, um, and it's not you know I'm I'm experiencing it quite badly on my PC as you can see, but. Um, other game, I don't have this problem with other games, um, and I don't have this problem with Horizons. I've never had anything like this with Horizons, and um, whatever they've done, they they just don't seem to have been able to resolve the fundamental issues that are going on here. Um, yeah, and I say this is a I, you know I haven't bought this. Um, well, I suppose I have because this is a lifetime expansion pass. This is the only I've got three accounts for Elite Dangerous, and this one is the only one that I've got Odyssey on because it's a lifetime expansion um, account um, and I'm not buying it for my other accounts because it isn't good enough I'm sorry it's just just isn't um, so and all the time it's like this for those of us who are wanting to fly around exploring things looking at things um, checking out wacky planets you know on the surface it just it's just yeah, I'm sorry. It's just not good enough, um, and I'd love it to be good enough because <laughs> then we can start having some fun again. Um, but no, it's 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 no worse, I suppose, than Update Six um, from from that perspective. But uh, yeah, from my perspective, it hasn't improved um, at all. It's still got those little micro hesitations. It still feels like it's about to fall over. It doesn't actually fall over, but you, you've got the subliminal impression that it's about to fall over. Um, so I don't know what they've done with this, this new rendering tech. There seems to be an absolute heartache for them. And I feel for them because they don't seem to be able to fix it. And they're, you know, they're being, you know, and I, you know, I get that the community management team's job is to be upbeat and positive about the game, um, because you know your 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 job and your livelihood depends upon it, right? I completely get that. But for people in my situation who, are, you know, I've got no financial interest in Frontier at all at this stage. You know, I did a few years ago, I suppose, because you know, um, you know, I wrote some books and stuff. But that's that's old hat. That's long since gone. Um, okay, so I don't really. It's not that I don't care, but it, it doesn't bother me, if that makes sense. Um, so, you know, for me, it's just a shame that it doesn't work. You know, and, yeah, I'd like to say, it's really good, go and buy it. But actually, hand on heart, you know, it, it still deserves its really poor Steam ratings at this point. Because it's it's not playable. Um, which is which is sad. Uh, you know, I've... I've you know, I'd, I'd like to be able to say, okay, it's, it's fixed. Yes, it's awesome again, but it isn't. Um, and so, and I, th and I think Frontier are being, you know, they're ve they give the impression of being very disingenuous. This is the thing I don't like about them. So you know, let's forget about, you know, the, you know, the law and narrative thing. I think, I think I'm, I think I'm in their black books because I've spoken my mind maps too many times. So I, you know, personally, it doesn't really bother me that I wasn't invited to a narrative stream because I can, I can talk to you guys about law and narrative on my stream. So, and you know, if you're interested in listening to what I've got to say, you'll come along to one of my streams, right? So. Does it really matter that I'm not talking with some of the other streamers simultaneously? I don't think so. So yeah, let's leave that all aside because um, it doesn't bother me. And you know, if, if they don't want me on their streams, then fair enough. Yeah, I mean, maybe I'd ask too many awkward questions because <laughs> I am a bit mischievous. You may have noticed this. Um, so you know, so and I, you know, yeah, if they can't control the meta narrative, i.e., the <laughs> what people are discussing. So I, I suspect that other streamers will be a little bit more sympathetic to what Frontier says that they should and shouldn't talk about. Um, and, and I probably won't be because I don't need to be. I, it doesn't, you know, so I, I'm a little bit more independent, shall we say. I suspect, I don't know if that's true or not. Okay, so let's put that to a side. Um, you know, the, the, the flip side of this is that, um, you know, I don't have any, I don't have a stake in this game anymore. I'd like to do some more community events because we had fun, right? We had a lot of fun and, you know, 
my Discord is now really, really quiet because there's, we can't do anything. And all the time the game is like this, I can't host an event, okay? Because it, the game won't support it. It's just, it's just a horrible experience. I don't want to be fighting the game, you know, glitches and FPS dropouts and all that sort of stuff. When I'm trying to coordinate a story with multiple players in the game, we could do that with Horizons because the game kind of, yeah, we had a bit of fun and games of instancing, you know, as you know, we got used to that. We knew, we all knew about that. We weren't fighting the game every five minutes trying to get it to work. Um, and so, you know, community events um, can't really happen for that reason. And then there's this whole business of half of the people are stuck in Horizons anyway because they haven't got Odyssey because they're not buying it yet because it doesn't work. So the player base is all over the place um, in terms of who's running which version. You know, the console guys can't join in anyway because we don't have a shared universe, but they, have, they don't have access to Odyssey either. So uh, until we've got the player bases roughly in the same place and we're all in the same universe again, then the community events are just shattered because we can't all take part unless we just go back to Odyssey and Horizons. But we've kind of had Horizons for ages, right? Um, and so we've sort of played it out. The whole idea of Odyssey was it's the new stuff. We can go and do new things. Um, and yet the game doesn't work. So let's go back to Horizons, yeah. But, you know, Horizons has kind of been there, done that. I mean, what else can we do? We've, we've had Distant Worlds 1 and 2. We've had chases across the stars. We've had, you know, interactive stuff flying around the space stations and we've organized hyperspace jumps. We've been to the former Dine Rift. We've been to Beagle Point. We've crossed the galaxy. We've done this, we've done that. We, we've, we've done all that gameplay many, many times. We need some new stuff to play with. That's what Odyssey was supposed to be. Um, and it is, you know, it, it could be if it would work, but it just doesn't, I'm guessing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so it's it's with us it's it's with a sorry um a sorry sigh really that I have to conclude that update 7 um and, and maybe it maybe it wasn't supposed to a lot of people have already said in the chat uh that it's update 8 that I should be interested in because that's where hopefully the performance improvements come in but whatever they've done in update 7 in that regard hasn't done much of my pc at least and I can only comment my PC and you, I mean, make your observations of what you're seeing uh, based on my specs of my PC and how the game is uh, performing. Um, no, no ship interiors. <laughs> we haven't seen that. Although some mega ship interiors are coming apparently, but I don't think they're in this release. Um, so, um, but they removed trash in space stations. Game is complete. Well, I, I must admit, I prefer the trash not to be there. <laughs> so I'll give them a thumbs up for that. Um, but, um, but yeah, so so there we go. Any 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 other thoughts, guys? Anything anything else that I I haven't covered that you think I should cover? Or maybe have a quick look at. Um, um, some people are blinkered, but others like things to do and enjoy not blinkered. So yeah, I mean, um, you know, I haven't got a problem. If you think Odyssey is okay and you're having fun, that's brilliant. You know, go and have fun. Um, yeah, your playstyle may be different to mine. Yeah, the things I want to do in Elite Dangerous. Oh, community exploration-y type events, okay? And that's what won't work right now. So I can't do that. So I'm I'm kind of sitting on the sidelines waiting for the game to work again. So the sort of things that I like doing in this game can actually happen. Does the bartender sell drinks? No, <laughs> that's still not the thing. Um, um, now, if, if it's working for you and you maybe you're in solo or maybe you've got a really high spec PC and, and you're okay, um, or you can do things to make it work and they work, great, you know, I'm not saying don't play it. I'm just saying for, for the perspective of me, my type of play style, which I know is shared by quite a few people, you know, exploration wise, all that kind of stuff, um, it's not there. And it's now, what, where are we now? End of September, came out in May, so if, is that, what's that? Five months down the line, still not fixed. Um, so will they still be patching in 12 months? I think they will. Um, I don't think it's going to get into a playable state for the sort of things that I like doing until well into 2022. And I'm getting to look at it now thinking, well, I've got other stuff that's now piling up on my to-do list, you know, and, and Elite Dangerous, it's like, by the time it does work, um, will I and many other people just have simply entirely moved on and forgotten that it's even there? Um, I don't know. It just, it's it's such a weird thing that's happened to this game. 
Um, yeah, and, and I don't know what the player numbers are. I mean, I see the Steam stats, and I don't know how representative they are of actual real numbers, but they do seem to have dropped and been depressed. Um, I don't go on the forums now um, because um, um, I don't agree with some of the way some of the moderators work. <laughs> So I don't know what the activity on the forum is like, but I would be surprised if it wasn't a bit down as well, because I just don't think the players are there. Um, I don't know. You tell me. You tell me. Um, the forums are the same. <laughs> um, but I just get a general sense. I get, you know, there, there are a lot of people out there who go who basically, uh, and I get told off on Twitter quite a lot about this. I, you know, I get people going... Um, you know, you need to be more optimistic. Stop, stop having a downer on the game. I say, I'm not having a downer on the game. I'm just, as far as I'm concerned, I'm telling it how it is. Um, and I think if there's criticism, I don't think we should just love something because we've always loved it, despite its flaws. I think if it's got flaws, they need to be pointed out and addressed. And if it's below a certain level of quality, why should we accept it? It still isn't there, as far as I'm concerned. That's that's my opinion. You, you don't have to share it, all right? Um, other people will basically, you know, will hammer it left, right, and centre all the time, and I don't think that's necessarily fair either. Um, so I'm, I'm not in the, I'm not in the, it's completely rubbish, irredeemable camp, but nor am I in the, um, it's wonderful, it deserves no criticism, it's, it's the holy braven. Yeah, I'm not in that camp either. <laughs> I can see it could be good, but it isn't right now. That, that's my view, and if that's offensive to. The powers that be or some people on, on in the internet, well, I'm sorry, that's tough <laughs> because I think that's a reasonable viewpoint and it's supported by the evidence of the game. Um, are you even using Twitter if people aren't trying to tell you? Well, yeah, I, you know, people are entitled to different opinions, aren't they? I can hear my space bird in the background. Um, there's, yeah, and this is the thing, abstract play, you're quite right. There's nothing quite like Elite. I am enjoying No Man's Sky immensely, but it isn't Elite. Okay, I haven't played Star Citizen yet. I might dabble in that in the future, but, you know, I'm a bit wary um, uh, of getting sucked into another space opera. Um, you know, but if something comes along which can do the sort of elite things that Elite does well, um, yeah, that, 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 could, that could be crazy. Um, did I check the concourse? Um, yeah, no, I, I did the Planetside FPS. Planetside FPS was okay if I wasn't at the settlement. At the settlement it was dreadful, it was dropping into the 20s. Um, so, um, so you know, uh, you know, if if you find my view on this game offensive, I, you know, I, but I, to be honest, I don't apologise. I, you know, I feel sorry that you find it offensive, but I, you know, I don't. <laughs> I'm not changing my view just because it's an unpopular one. Um, um, Frontier seems fit to um, um, corporately, shall I say? Yeah, I, I still talk to some of the individuals. Um, corporately, want to kind of make, let's 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 not pay the attention to Mr. Wager, which is their choice. I don't care really. Because um, I can keep streaming and I can keep tweeting and I can keep making videos whether they like it or not. And I will. <laughs> and I'm going to keep documenting what remains of the law and various other bits. And you know, I will keep watching the narrative. And, you know, as a writer, I feel I'm entitled to have an opinion on said narrative. And some people don't like my opinions. And that's but that's fine. <laughs> I don't, don't expect you to all agree with me. Um, but, um, um, you know, so again, it's, it's luckily it's always been massive potential. But it doesn't quite grasp itself. And whatever these technical issues that the game is struggling with right now, um, five months in, they're still there. And I, you get the impression that they've been, you know, some sticky plasters have been put over the top. And I don't know if that's fair, because I don't know what I'm talking about, technical stuff, OK? Um, but you get the impression that it's sticky plasters, that the actual fundamental issue that's underneath all of these issues hasn't been fixed. Um, and they're struggling to find it, maybe. And maybe they've lost key members of staff over the years. Um, you know, Dr. K. Ross leaving. Is that is that indicative? Is that just she's been there a long time, she wants to do something else? Um, I don't know. You know, I'm not privy to the internal workings of the company. But you get the, you get the impression that they're struggling to fix this. And they can't quite get to grips with whatever it is that isn't right about the engine, the rendering, all that sort of stuff. Um... And, and other games are creeping up on them fast. I mean, I'm, you know, No Man's Sky is not the same, okay? It's not a replacement for Elite, but it's damned impressive. I, I'm playing that game on the Thursdays regularly, as you know. And, um, you know, every time it does something, I think, oh, wow, that's clever. 
you know, that's like, really? Oh, okay. You know, I can't remember the last time Elite Dangerous did that to me. Um, you know, it, it's certainly done that in the past, you know, when the first time I jumped into hyperspace, wow. The first time I encountered the Neutron Star, wow. The first time I encountered the White Dwarf, wow. The first time I encountered the Black Hole was like, oh, yeah. But, you know, <laughs> quite a lot of the time Elite Dangerous has historically it made me go, wow, that's cool. Um, but it hasn't done that for years now because I don't think they've put anything all that impressive in the game. The only thing from Odyssey I would say is wow for me is, is looking up at the spaceship and going, yeah, that looks pretty impressive from the ground on foot. You know, that stuff is a bit wow. Um, but the train tech, I'm not all that impressed by. Um, I don't think it's all that good. Um, um, being able to walk around the space station interiors, they're very small. I mean, they're just not very big. You know, and you just look at them and go and think, you spent two years making all this. Where is the where is the expansiveness of everything that you've been working on for two years? It feels very constricted, very small, and very pedestrian, really, um, compared to the you know, the complexity of things that you can go and explore and things like No Man's Sky. I just I just don't know what they've been doing with all their time. Maybe this game is really, 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 really hard to work on from a coding perspective. I don't know. Um, they just don't seem to be able to generate new content very quickly. And I've I've no idea why that is. Um, so so anyways, <laughs> waffling on. How long have I been streaming now? They're an hour and thirty minutes. I don't think I've got anything more to say uh, on, on on update seven. The, uh, my my conclusion then update seven um, from a technical perspective, um, no real change. It hasn't got any better than update six as far as I can tell in terms of performance. So I've still got the same issues on my PC. It doesn't work properly in. Um, settlements on the ground the fps is awful um, flying over terrain in my spaceship at low level still has massive texture pop um, shadow problems um, and just weird shenanigans going on all the time um, frame rate inside the space station is kind of okay there are a few new bits and pieces in there they've you know they've put a few extra colors and things into the concourse and stuff in very different places uh, moved a few things around so they've done some stuff and there are some turret guns on the settlements which I think are a great addition um, in terms of the missions I didn't get that fast because you know if the FPS isn't there then there's there's no point in me evaluating the content so I haven't taken a look at any of that sort of stuff um, so from from my perspective on my PC and bear in mind this is a single use case right um, no real improvement with update 7 which is a shame so but I yeah I've been told by a few people in the chat that um, I shouldn't really expect much until update seven, update eight. Um, so yeah, so they, they've done a bit of missions. I understand that, but I can't get to the missions because the FPS is rubbish. So as far as I'm concerned at the moment, the FPS is a gating issue for me, um, which until that's fixed, I can't really play the game properly. So um, um, so so there we go. So that's my verdict. You may you may or may not agree with it. Um, no major improvement from my perspective. I will come back once again with update eight with another Elite Dangerous stream. Um, with a bit of luck, we'll, we'll see a noticeable improvement then. Um, but until then, my friends, I will have to say a fond farewell once more. Right on, Commanders. And I hope, um, <laughs> I hope, you know, uh, the deity in Elite, by the way, is, 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 a, is a god called Randomius Factoria. Um, for those of you who know your law, um, and so we shall we shall say a prayer to Randomius Factoria to say please bless us with increased performance, better FPS, no texture popping, and shadows that behave themselves on the ground. So um, that's that's my verdict. Um, see you for update eight, my friends. Right on, commanders. Be good, and I will see you out there in the void um, with uh, with other space games for the time being. Take care, my friends, and see you soon. <laughs>